How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build your very own DIY rustic barn wood door, just like the one you see here. All right guys, now everybody loves that rustic farmhouse look and one great way to add that accent to your home or your shop or whatever is some type of rustic barn door. Now in my case, if you couldn't already tell by the moon cut into it, I'm using my barn door as the door to the bathroom in my shop. You can see I already have that rustic barn theme on the walls here. I have done a full video on how to do the barn wood wall. If you're interested in seeing that, I'll put a link to that right here at the top of the screen. But this video is all about the door. So I'm gonna take you along step by step and show you a quick, easy DIY way to build a door like this. But before we do that, guys, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. I will also be making plans for how to build this and I'll have a link to those plans in the description below if you wanna have physical plans that you can follow along with while you're building your own barn door. All right guys, now let's get to work. Now the main panel of our door is gonna be made out of this material. This is uh, basically a plywood siding. It's used a lot in outdoor sheds and things like that, but it is a half inch thick. It's rough cut wood, and you can see that it has these grooves routed into it to make it look more like siding. Now this is usually gonna be a little bit cheaper than your regular sheet of plywood just because it is rough cut and everything. And you will usually have some imperfections, like you can see some areas here that have been filled, but you can usually pick through and find some that don't have that. But we're not looking for perfection. We are looking for that rough cut, that rustic look. And I think this is gonna make a great base panel for our door. All right guys, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and take some measurements of the opening for your doorway. And once you have those exact measurements, you're gonna wanna subtract a little bit from it. In my case, I subtracted an inch from the overall height and three quarters of an inch from the overall width. Now you can adjust that depending on how much gap you want around the outside of your door. Then we need to go ahead and start cutting down our material. And to cut this down to size, I'm gonna be using my wind track saw. If you don't have a track saw, this could easily be done with a straight edge and a regular circular saw. Now I'm getting ready to cut out the moon shape in the upper portion of my door. In my case, I'm kind of going for an outhouse door look, but you could cut any shape you want into the top portion of this door or just leave it solid if you want to. just a little light sanding to clean that up and we're ready for some stain. I'm gonna start with the back of the door first and I'm gonna be using my paint sprayer along with some water-based early American stain just to get some nice even coverage. Then I'm gonna go back with a large brush to spread it out on the surface. Once that's had time to dry, we'll go ahead and flip over to the front and do the same thing. Now this is starting to look pretty good, but to give it a little bit more of that rustic old barn wood look, I'm gonna go back with a dry brush and some darker stain and just kind of randomly stroke in some darker areas onto this panel to give it more of a rustic weathered look. And while that's drying, we're gonna go inside and start cutting down the material for the accents on our door. I'm gonna be using some leftover pieces of that reclaimed barn wood from my previous project, but simple one by fours would also work for this and you can stain it any way you want. 
Now we're gonna be cutting this down into five main sections. We're gonna need a board for the top and bottom, the same width as our door, and then two longer pieces for the sides and another to go across the middle of the door. Once I have those cut, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of test fit them on the door just to make sure everything fits good. And to fasten these boards down to our door panel, I'm gonna be using a combination of wood glue, screws, and brad nails. Now because of the nature of the type of wood we're using, especially this old barn wood that I'm using, I'm also gonna be using several clamps to hold each piece down exactly where I want it while I fasten it down. And then I'm just gonna repeat that process for all the accent pieces on our door. To complete the barn wood look of our door, on the bottom section, I'm gonna be doing some cross boards in an X pattern. And I'm sure there's some scientific or mathematic way to go about doing this, but I found that the easiest way is just to hold my board up on the door, make some marks with my pencil where it needs to be cut, and cut those angles with my circular saw. And remember, this doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because we are going for an old barn wood look and precision fitment really is not a priority for this. We're gonna secure those down the same way we did the rest. And this door is really starting to look like something, but we're not finished yet, so let's go ahead and get it inside and test fit it into our opening. Back on the inside, I do need to have a frame for my door to fit into. And for that, I'm just gonna be using the same barn wood that I'm using for the accent pieces on our door. I'm gonna be using a half inch spacer on the floor to make sure I have plenty of clearance. And I will admit guys, when I first put this into place, it's a little too tight a fit, so it is gonna require some adjustments. If this happens to you, don't worry. Too big is not near as big a problem as too small. So all we need to do is take our door back down and get that track saw back out and we're gonna be shaving just a little bit off of the length and width of our door. Now we'll take it back over and put it back into place and we have a perfect fit with about a quarter inch gap on the sides and a half inch gap top and bottom, which is exactly what I was going for. And just to make sure I get those gaps exactly right, I'm also gonna put some quarter inch spacers between the door and the frame and clamp that into place while I'm attaching my hinges. I did find these nice black iron looking gate hinges that we're gonna be using for this door. And I will link to these as well as everything else in the description below if you wanna use these for yours as well. With all my spacers in place, we're ready to go ahead and put our hinges on. I really love these large gate style hinges, evenly spaced on our door, it really adds to that barn wood look. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our matching door handles. Once I have those in place, we can go ahead and remove all our spacers and test the door out and it moves freely, so we are good to go. Now since mine is actually a bathroom door, I can't just leave this moon-shaped opening in the door because you'll be able to see right through into the bathroom. One really cool way I found to close in that gap but still give it a great look is to find a cool metal sign to mount on the inside face of the door that when screwed into place covers our moon-shaped opening and gives it that nice galvanized metal look from the outside that matches our wall surrounding the door perfectly. Now because of the nature of the types of wood that I'm using, 
I can't expect this door to hang perfectly. So if you look at the top right corner of our door, it does kind of stick out a little bit from our door frame, which isn't a huge problem, but I will show you how you can fix that. You can pick up one of these kits that's actually meant for fixing sagging gates. It incorporates some metal cable and a turnbuckle. And the way this is gonna work is you're gonna mount one side of your cable to the lower portion of the hinge side of the door. And you're gonna run that up to the top corner, the corner that's poking out. And when this is put in place and you tighten that turnbuckle down, that'll help pull that top corner of your door in to start to close in that gap. All right, guys, just a few last minute things. I did go back and add some strips of one by two on both sides as kind of a stop for the door because my door opening didn't already have any kind of door stop to prevent it from swinging in too far. So I just ripped these down out of a two by four and screwed them in and it makes a perfect spot for your barn wood door to rest. And of course, if you want a way to lock your door from the inside, uh, you can always use a simple hook and loop type gate latch. That's what I'm planning on using on this bathroom door. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this video helped you out. It really is a pretty easy DIY process, especially if you have the plans. And don't forget, I will have the plans linked in the description below, as well as all the tools and the materials that I use. I'll try to link to as much of that stuff as I can so you can get it for yourself. If you have any questions, make sure you let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.